also for this budget addressed by Finance Minister Praveen Gordon. Uh, we're going to talk to social economist uh, Pierre Hastien now and get his uh, ideas on what to expect from this budget. Pierre, thanks very much for coming My in. Pleasure. Uh, the government is under pressure to spend for its social obligations. If the uprisings in terms of uh, municipal unrest and social unrest regarding uh, service delivery is anything to go by, but on the other hand, he has very little money to actually do this because of the shrinking tax base. Do you think this budget will deliver any immediate relief for poor people in South Africa? I think it may deliver an immediate um, perception belief. I think there will be increased social spending. I think we may, on the odd chance, see higher taxes on the super rich to try and pass that circulation back to them. But I don't think effectively it's going to make a huge difference or bring a lot of relief. Um, what, what really what we need, what creates growth is circulation of money. And we already see that the, the largest tax base comes from our middle income group. And what we need is to encourage that. And if too much social spending, what we've got is government handing out stuff on one hand while punching the poor with the other. Mm -hmm. Really what they need to do is, is let, in, in many ways, let the economy go and let people be more economically active where they can. It does help when the consumer watches this and know very well that there's a fuel levy coming up possibly in this budget. 24 hours later, we'll have an announcement on the electricity prices. Administered prices are really the consumer down so this budget will give them an indication what's to happen in the coming year wouldn't it absolutely yeah absolutely and I, I hope to see some respite on those price increases not necessarily increased government control but just some investigation on why those prices are, are so high looking at competition looking at efficiencies in the electric electricity production I really think that we can handle increased prices but they need to be justified and these kind of increases really aren't there is a fundamental problem and government should be addressing that rather than handing out more money so that people can afo afford higher prices. You speak about handing out more money, one third of the population is on a social grant. Uh, we have an unemployed situation here which makes the burden uh, you know, even, even stronger. Uh, but yeah, the key idea is really to create a job and get the jobless into that job, isn't it? Absolutely. We need to address inequality. But the perception is that you do that by taxing the rich and giving it to the poor? Absolutely not. We need to address inequality by getting the poor and the middle class more active and getting money circulating around so that we can pass wealth and value creation to each other. If you had to choose one thing you'd like to hear in this budget, what would it be? I'd, see, it's, I'd like to see a stronger address on skills, skills development and opening up small business um, administration and the barriers that are really restricting them from taking off. Right, thanks very much. Social economist Pierre Hastine, thanks very much indeed for your time. Thanks a lot. All right, Nompu, uh, I suppose the next time you cross to me, we'll be starting up with our special uh, budget broadcast. That would be on SABC2 at uh, 2 o'clock. It's back to you. Thanks very much, Devon. In other news, U.S. Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke has strongly defended the U.S.